Hey guys, welcome to another Trade Genius Podcast with Bob and Phil. Guys, the Asia thing is not going away. You know, they're basically facing currency collapse and they're trying everything they can to save their currencies and prop them up. And what that means is they have a significant amount of our debt that they may dump back onto us. What does that mean? We're going to talk about that in this video. So let's dive in. Trade Genius. Hey guys, I'll tell you something that we do that really will change the way in which you look at trading and also absolutely help you increase your profitability and how much money you make. It's the Trade Genius newsletter. We put the newsletter out Sunday night through Thursday night, and this really looks at the plumbing of the markets and helps prepare you for the next trading day and help you make money. And, and we give you a lot of information. We give you market statistics. We give you market levels. We give you the seasonality, what's happening with different sectors of the market, and we will help you identify whether the market's in a bear mode or a bull mode, or whether it's euphoric, whether it's despondent, and it just puts you in a position to be on the right side of the trade. So. Take advantage of our offer that we have below and you'll love it. I mean, one trade that you make with this thing can pay for definitely a month, maybe even a year's worth of service. It's that powerful. Use promo code podcast for 15% off the retail price of newsletter. Thanks for listening. All right, Bob. So, you know, uh, you know, both the yen and the yuan are really at levels that typically we see intervention. And um, you had mentioned that you had brought up the fact that they own a ton of our debt and, and the ramification of that may, might not be so mild. Yeah. So we have a situation here. This is as of May. Japan and China own one quarter of our securities held by foreigners and or foreign investors, if you will. And they use that to, to keep their FX, their foreign exchange, you know, at, at certain levels. And so you got Japan now where, um, you know, they, they may have run away inflation here. And then you have China, which has the exact opposite problem, but they're using, they're, they're both doing the same thing to keep their currencies from collapsing, Phil, and that is selling treasuries. And if you want to throw the other chart up here, this one blew me away, is that the 10-year yield is is really predicated upon uh, the currency levels of Japan and China. Check this out. And and now we've reached a nexus. So the interesting thing for me with this, Phil, this, this is very tradable, that if they, and right now I still have TB you know, as as the the main vehicle here, I was telling people not yet for TLT for a for a long term trade is that you know we still probably have a chance to get over five percent on the uh, on the on the ten year and and this might be the way in which they do it because they're going to continue to sell bonds at the same time Yellen is continuing to sell bonds but at that point if if we start seeing these currencies couple collapse or depreciate then we know we can flip that from T. BT to TLT, Phil. Yeah, and it, there is something going on because bonds have been getting hit with with sell. If you look at the if you look at the ten year, it's been under duress here. So it makes sense to me that we're seeing. You know, I know the USD JPY just broke over a key level where we would typically see uh, intervention from the Bank of Japan. So I think you're right. I think your theory is holding true. And and like you said, TLT probably has more down to go as a result. Yeah, I'm looking for under under ninety. And and just you know, so we can shift gears a little bit. Today was a, a liquidation day. You know, we had the bonds down. We also had oil down. Down. Even though the draw was huge, I think they're panicking now. Uh, I think the big guns came out to try to keep this oil market from exploding on them, and the market was down. And yeah. so, you know, we've been playing that short. And just so people know, kind of where I'm at with this is that I expect a short-term reversal higher. You know, maybe in tomorrow into Friday, and then we'll probably resume selling against once that Nvidia earnings come out and people find out how forked everybody is loaded into tech. And and then we have the the uh, Jackson Hole Friday, so it should be really really volatile. Yep. The next seven or eight trading days, Phil. Yeah, I think forty four hundred on SPX, which we essentially tagged today into the close, is a, definitely a large level. And uh, I would be surprised if we didn't get a bounce out of that. We're, you know, we've been selling off for a couple of weeks now, pretty nonstop. Uh, albeit with you know exception of a couple of days of green here and there so we probably are um owed a, a, one of those just ripper rallies and you think you know the bull market's back on board but i do ultimately think that everything that we get to the upside will ultimately be a sell the rip uh, type situation and, and we'll drive lower especially in q4 because remember we got all that long duration issuance happening in q4 and whenever the treasury does that the market's 
that zaps liquidity out in the markets. It's the same situation we had from Q1 into Q2 of 2022. And those were really volatile and very sharp moves lower. So I think that's what's in play. And ultimately, I think you have to start looking at maybe 4,200 on the SPX as where this overall move probably gets back to. So I think it's going to be a very interesting uh, last quarter of the year. And I think it'll be really volatile. So good for trading and things like that, but might make some of the investors that are longer term seasick. <laughs> yeah. And the only one thing I say is we filled a gap today on SPY and the next gap down is around 423. Yeah. So I fully expect that to hit this year. So yeah. whatever whatever momentary bouts of bullishness I have here, they're, they're fleeting. Yeah. And it's just that I've been pretty short. And so... Um, you know, I think when we hit that level, you got to respect that level because I think it squeezes up 100, 200 points without even breathing. And mm -hmm. it, it's, it, it's meaningless for the trend to continue to go down. Right. Yep. Yeah. So short term, we'll look for a bounce. And then later on, as we progress through OPEX, which is uh, Friday going at following week into Jackson Hole, we'll see how the markets develop, but probably going to see another rollover as this market starts to kind of give back all of this rally from the beginning of the year. So guys, thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. Thanks so much for all of the views. And if you're interested in our products, head over to tradegenius.co and check us out over there. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you on the next episode. Trade Genius.